Devious Donuts. I'm going to start with that today. I'm coming to you from my front porch. Uh, today's better, as you can tell. But it's also not nighttime. Um, this is Teacher Appreciation Week. And I work for a wonderful school because this morning they had breakfast for us. And I didn't actually go in until much later um, when I was making a copy. And so I go in and at every turn there is this wonderful white box that when you open it is dozens of donuts. Powdered sugar donuts, sprinkled donuts, chocolate filled donuts, jelly filled donuts, blueberry muffin kind of donut, glazed donuts. All of them look so beautiful. Of course, they're going to start these donuts after I decide that I'm not going to eat anything unhealthy. And as a diabetic, you probably shouldn't eat a donut. Although from time to time, I do let myself splurge. So luckily, when I turned, there was a fruit tray. So I looked at the donuts. I looked at the fruit. I looked at the donuts. I looked at the fruit. I'm not going to lie, I opened up every box of donuts there. And there was about five when I got there. There was only two fruit trays, but I got a plate, and I got me some pineapples, one strawberry, and some grapes that my daughter ended up eating. And throughout the day, I snacked on the pineapples and the one strawberry as my daughter ate the grapes. And it was okay. I would have loved to have had that donut, but Dad would have been proud of me. So, so far, crisis averted with the devious donuts. I like being appreciated, therefore I had to get me something, and I got me some pineapples and strawberry and the grapes that my daughter ate. I was tired today, extremely tired. I woke up, and I swear it's like a bee stung both my eyes that were swelled up. I decided not to try to avert looking like a hot mess and put makeup on it. I decided I was just going to go to work like that. It is what it is. You're just going to have to deal with it, people. I wasn't looking that fabulous today. Not that I ever really do look fabulous. Uh, especially when I've been grieving for almost a year now. But anyways, um, I came home and turns out I've hurt my elbow, so I'm not as active as I wanted to be. But I feel better. So today we're going to go ahead and say May 2nd. So far, so good. We'll find out when I spend my time outside uh, in the evening, which yesterday was horrific. But... Day one down, day two almost down, and my husband has prepared a lovely meal with asparagus. So, I'm looking forward to it. Actually, his asparagus is very good, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's phenomenal. I'll eat his asparagus all the time. But, other than that, we're having some pork and some asparagus, and um, hopefully I'll be a little bit more active, even though he's got me resting without wanting to hurt my elbow. So, again... Um, I had a classmate who passed away today, or yesterday in the evening, or well, I should say in the middle of the night. Her name was Stacy, and so um, it's kind of strange. I've never had a classmate that I know of pass away from high school, and uh, she was a sweet girl, very kind, always smiling, always friendly, didn't cause any problems. You know, she was that person that was just genuinely sweet. And um, it's, uh, it's sad to see that she has uh, passed on. So for Stacy's family, I do offer our condolences from Needville High School, class of 1990. Oops, I said my age. Anyways, y'all do the math because I don't do math. I do reading. Be blessed, encouraged, and call your parents.